there was a sizable weakness in broader us stock market whether you see the price chart of s&p 500 or nasdaq there was a weakness there is no denial out of it but there was some kind of buying which has come in the last week on the last trading session and the last week ended on 1st july 2022 so before we go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis of s&p 500 nasdaq 100 dxy the currency the dollar index uh, euro usd currency pair and metaverse etf let us broadly check the market valuation and the performance and the sector which are trending in last 7 days friends do not forget to like the video subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell for all the notification so that you remain updated all the time if you have not yet downloaded our mobile application there is a link given in the description box for a free download do download and explore the content in the mobile application Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna, as in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps. If we evaluate the valuation in terms of the broader market, the P of the U.S. stock market is. 21.8 which is much below than 10 year average of 26.3 so in terms of valuation now the market post correction looks attractive further it is very important to notice that this valuation is not the result of only the correction in the price but there is a growth in the earnings and revenue in the broader us stock market which is quite evident from the uh, chart which you are looking on your screen so which are the sectors in us stock market that are trending and outperforming the benchmark index in us stock market and those on the basis of past 7 days performance are utilities energy consumer staples healthcare are the broader index which are trending based on the performance in the last one week now let's just straight away go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis of broader us stock market now we are referring to the price chart of s&p 500 in weekly time frame we can see that the us market there was a drawdown of 2.21% on week to week basis in the last week but we can see the price is probably taking support at sma 144 that we have discussed in the last week also let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action what we can witness there was a vertical fall here and the price then stopped making lower lows kind of market structure in the last week we discussed about the demand area 3743 to 3800 which seems to be respected by the price and in the last trading session we can clearly see the formation of bullish engulfing and the prior day was a kind of doji kind of formation which indicates there is a loss of downside momentum so for the next week also uh 3743 to 3800 uh, looks to be the demand area which is likely to be there in the forthcoming week however based on the retracement analysis and price action analysis if we check the retracement of this falling wave we can see the 61.8% golden ratio which stands at something around 3974 and this particular gap is likely to be acting as a supply zone major supply zone so broadly we can see that unless and until uh, s&p 500 start trading above 4100 we cannot be uh, sure about some kind of reversal chart pattern which has to be there to confirm 
whether the downtrend is over or not. Let us go to the price chart of NASDAQ 100. And NASDAQ 100 on week to week basis has also witnessed a drawdown of 4.3%, which was quite massive. So let us go to the daily price chart to check the demand and supply zone. So based on the price action, it seems to be the trading range is narrowing down in NASDAQ 100 with this kind of upcoming uh, falling wedge kind of formation. In NASDAQ 2, we have seen a bullish engulfing on the last trading session. So uh, what we discussed about the uh, price action and the demand zone was 11,500 to 11,700 seems to be demand area in the forthcoming week. Probably the price may go up after the sizable correction it has seen in the last week. And the next level of resistance would be 12,150 level, which is a golden ratio with respect to the prior falling wave, which is an impulsive wave, of course, in a downtrending market. So in NASDAQ also, unless the prices start trading above 12,150 and the next uh, level of resistance is 12,465, we cannot say the trend is reversing. Trend remains down in NASDAQ 100 too. However, when there is a breakout of this falling wedge, we might see some kind of reversal chart pattern. Maybe probably this is the left shoulder head in place. And if at all the right shoulder is under formation, is the time will tell when this trend line is broken out on upside. Let us go to the Metaverse ETF. And in Metaverse ETF, we have been discussing on this channel regarding uh, the trading which is taking place in the falling price channel. And we can see the sizable correction that has taken place in the last uh, trading session of the last week. There is a formation of bullish piercing kind of candlestick pattern on which is uh, inside bar 2. So based on the price action, 7.88 to 8 dollars remains to be uh, demand area on upside move. We can see the price rejection here, price rejection here, multiple consolidation point here. So 8.68 to 8.87 remains to be immediate supply zone. And once this supply zone is taken out due to the excessive demand, then the price may test 9.35. But when the price test to 9.35, there is a possibility of trend reversal in Metaverse ETF2. Now let us go to the dollar index. And now we are referring to the price chart of US dollar currency pair in daily time frame. What we can see, we discussed about the supply zone here and probably the price is struggling to go past of this supply zone. So supply zone remains in a band of 105.348 to 105.541 remains to be the supply zone. But once the price is broken out of this trend line, which is acting as a resistance, it may test to 106.44 level. However, on downside, we can see uh, there is an EMA 21 which is coinciding with 38.2% retracement level. So 104.121 is the intervening uh, support in DXY. However, the broader uh, demand area remains in 103.047 to 103.802 based on the price action where the price has taken multiple support here and we can see some kind of rejection and consolidation over here. So now let us go to the Euro USD currency pair. It remains to be in a downtrend. We thought that probably this might give a breakout of this falling trend line, but it did not happen. So the price further corrected. Now it seems to be forming something like triple bottom kind of formation. So based on price action, we can see the price has taken support here, support here, support here, multiple support here. So 1.03588 to 1.03822 is an immediate demand area. However, if dem this demand area is broken down, then we might see further fall in Euro USD currency pair to 1.022 level because it is nothing but the breakdown of a bearish flag. The, the target of 100% expansion calculates at 
two two. Now on the upside, we can see multiple and series of price rejection over here. So one point zero six zero one four to one point zero six one eight five remains to be immediate supply zone where there is an intervention of the falling trend line. Once this trend line is given a breakout, then we might see some kind of reversal chart pattern. But let us see what happens in next week. Friends, if you like this video presentation, give a lot of thumbs up to this video. Share this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell so that you remain updated all the time. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.